Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk about the NFT dividend that's about to be issued by GameStop. Now this NFT dividend could be a key catalyst to the mother of all short squeezes. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, Les Goff recently tweeted on the 2nd of April saying here's what's going to happen. Here soon, the company is going to announce that the shares they are providing by dividend will be in the form of a tokenized security and delivered to the new GameStop wallet on the NFT marketplace. Now, right here on the 2nd of April, this was entirely an assumption, but over the last few days, we now have concrete proof of the NFT dividend or tokenized securities that are about to be issued. Les recently received an email that says, Dear Sir or Madam, Thank you for contacting ComputerShare, the transfer agent for GameStop Corporation. We appreciate the opportunity to be of service directly to you. GameStop is still preparing to release a non-fungible token, NFT. The shareholders will be notified once it's declared. It says, should you have any other account related questions, please call us at 800 522 6645 during regular business hours. Please note that any available representative can assist you. Now, as soon as this email was received and posted, a lot of people were quick to jump on the train and call it fake or call it FUD and say that this never actually came from Computer Share. Originally, it was marked as debunked because nobody that worked for Computer Share could confirm the legitimacy of the email. But again, over the last few days, it's now been confirmed that the email was indeed real and it was directly from Computer Share. And now, with more context and confirmation of a dividend or split, it's definitely plausible. As an update, it says the email is real. The user just got a call back from the supervisor at Computer Share who 100% confirmed that the email itself is from Computer Share and they're looking into the content of the email right now. And the supervisor said, however, for the actual content of the email, which is about the NFT, he's still waiting for a response from management because he doesn't see any further updates from GameStop and our management also doesn't necessarily have any further information. And he said, secondly, they are currently in the process to see if it was indeed leaked by somebody at Computer Share who has a contact directly at GameStop so they can at least validate the information and confirm that an actual NFT dividend is about to be issued. Now, this is obviously brilliant news because if GameStop issue this NFT dividend or this tokenized STO, then the shorts currently shorting GameStop and AMC will be forced to close their short positions. When these shorts create synthetic shares, they create the share and then sell those shares to unsuspecting retail investors like you and I. Obviously what these shorts should be doing is not creating synthetic shares, it's locating a real share, borrowing that share and then selling it to a retail investor. But obviously what they're actually doing is creating additional synthetic shares on top of the flow and then selling those to the unsuspecting retail investors like you and I. Now, when GameStop issues this NFT or this STO, they will total the number of shareholders and the number of shares in issue and factor in on top of that the additional shares that have been borrowed and lent out and sold to additional retail investors. Because obviously for every one share that's shorted, that share has a true owner, that share is then borrowed from the true owner and sold to a secondary owner. Therefore, for every one share that is currently shorted, there's technically two owners, the owner of the rightful share and the owner of that same share that's been shorted. Therefore, when GameStop issues this NFT dividend, they'll take the total number of shares in the float and then add on the additional number of shares shorted legally on top of that. They'll then create the NFTs or SDOs and then distribute them appropriately. But obviously due to the millions and millions and potentially billions of synthetic shares that have been created on top of that, there'll be a massive mismatch between the number of NFTs or SDOs produced and the number of shares and shareholders currently out there. And obviously these shorts that have created these synthetic shares can't replicate these NFTs or STOs and distribute them to the additional shares and the additional shareholders that have been created by the creation of all the synthetic shares. And therefore effectively when this NFT or STO is distributed, all the shorts have to cover these synthetic shares, buy them back and delete them so the appropriate number of NFTs and STOs can be issued. Now obviously this will also impact AMC as well because even though AMC aren't issuing an NFT dividend or an SDO offering right now, all of the shorts will still have to cover their GameStop shorts. 
Obviously, when all of these shorts close out of their GameStop short positions, it will cause the mother of all short squeezes, and many of these hedge funds will end up being liquidated. When these hedge funds end up being liquidated, they'll be forced not only to cover their GameStop short positions, but also to cover their AMC short positions as well on top of that. That's why, as I've always said, it doesn't really matter whether GameStop causes the squeeze or if AMC causes the squeeze, because when one stock squeezes, the other stock will squeeze as well. And therefore, the fact that GameStop is issuing an NFT dividend is also brilliant news for us AMC investors as well. Now, it seems that Ryan Cohen is absolutely not afraid to say exactly what's going to happen with GameStop and AMC. And guys, if you didn't already know, Moomoo and Futu have just officially announced that Futu does not accept payment for order flow, and therefore you don't have to worry about your trades going through sketchy dark pools or being given to Citadel. Right now, you can currently get five free stocks valued up to $3,500 each. When you sign up to Moomoo, use the link in the description below and make your first deposit. Moomoo also recently won the award for being the best trading platform at the FinTech Breakthrough Awards. Moomoo is also entirely commission free and has tons of technical indicators and advanced charting tools. Moomoo publishes daily short selling data, position cost distribution, and much, much more. Moomoo is also incredibly easy to use and is very customizable. So guys, be sure to sign up to Moomoo using the link in the description below to get up to $17,500 in free stocks. The other day, Ryan Cohen tweeted a photo of a baby during an ultrasound and said the last time people were excited to see me was during the ultrasound scan. Now, if you didn't already know, this is exactly what an ultrasound wave looks like, courtesy of Wikipedia. Now, this chart of the ultrasound wave looks very, very similar. An unusual investor managed to put his finger on it. This chart of the ultrasound wave looks almost exactly like the Volkswagen squeeze chart back from 2008. And this morning, Ryan Cohen also tweeted saying, you know what happens when I eat too much fruit? And the answer to this question is, you get the runs. And therefore, it looks like Ryan Cohen is saying that GameStop is absolutely ready to run and is going to replicate this ultrasound chart or the Volkswagen squeeze chart. I think this is basically as close as Ryan Cohen can possibly get to saying that GameStop is about to squeeze without actually saying it, because obviously that goes against all of the SEC and FINRA regulations. And we know that even though the SEC and FINRA don't come down on the shorts for all of their illegal market manipulating activity, what they do come down on is CEOs trying to pump their stock. And therefore, this is basically as close as Ryan Cohen can get to saying that the squeeze is coming without actually saying the squeeze is coming. Otherwise, he'll end up with a massive fine and potentially end up in jail. Now, I think Foray has realized exactly why the hedgies are currently trying so hard to push the price of AMC down, because we are very close to breaking upwards out of the bull pennant formed in last June's run up. Obviously, since June of last year, we've been on this constant downtrend over the last nine or so months. The week before last, we did break out of this bull pennant, but we're obviously pushed back down under that range under $25 per share. And then again, last week, we again broke out of this downtrend, hitting $34 per share. But by the Friday, we were pushed back down inside this range again. And therefore, even though AMC did hit that $22 region and break out of that range, the hedge funds weren't liquidated instantaneously because obviously we did not close the week beyond this trend and we did not push up further. Obviously, some time ago, I did say that the hedgies were scared of that $22 region. I didn't say they would get liquidated instantly at $22 and one singular cent, but I do think that when we break out of this range and break it with conviction, we will be running back to $40 to $50 and above very, very quickly. The only problem being is that over the last two weeks, even though we have broken out of this downtrend, we haven't managed to sustain this break and close the week above the downtrend yet. However, maybe this week is going to be the week when we close above this range and push beyond that $34 region and close the week above $34 per share. Now, on top of this, Nazim says that every short seller is eventually a buyer because he has to replace the borrowed shares, such as in the case with the GameStop NFT dividend that's about to be issued. He says too many short sellers who have shorted can drive the price up as they panic and buy back all of their shares all at the same time. And he said this creates panic among other shorts, thus creating a cascade effect of all of the short sellers trying to buy as many shares as possible and cover their entire short position before the other shorts to get out with the least amount of damage. 
Now this isn't technically true 100% of the time because many of these shorts try to push these companies into bankruptcy and try to push their stock below $1 per share for a consecutive 250 days. If they can push a stock below $1 per share for a consecutive 250 days, they can get the stock relegated to the OTC market, which makes it very, very difficult for retail investors to buy the stock. But obviously if they can push AMC and GameStop below $1 per share for a consecutive 250 days, then they will technically have won because AMC will be relegated to the OTC exchange and effectively we won't be able to buy more shares. The reason why they haven't done this yet is because they can't and in fact they are in very very dangerous areas because we're about to break above this downtrend and push AMC past its previous highs. And obviously because the shorts are losing, when AMC is pushed above this downtrend and closes above the downtrend, AMC will likely push back towards $50 and above very quickly, which will cause the shorts to panic and many shorts may try and cover their positions and get out before the other shorts. And as Nazim says, this effectively causes a cascade effect because all of the shorts end up stumbling over each other, trying to close their short positions before the other shorts so they can get out with the least amount of damage. Obviously the first short to the exit door wins because they don't end up going bankrupt, but all of the shorts are for that, especially the last shorts to reach that exit door are guaranteed to be bankrupt and forced to close out of their positions. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about the NFT dividend that's about to be issued by GameStop. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.